Michael Holman chose to submit himself to 11 hours, conscious, in this cage while doctors operated on his brain. It's a wonderful feeling. It's, as I said, a liberating feeling, a sense of, of huge relief. Michael first felt something was seriously wrong back in 1984, writing postcards home from holiday. I noticed that not only was my writing getting smaller, it was as if my hand was running out of power, as if a battery was running low. And soon after that, I was diagnosed as having Parkinson's. A lack of dopamine in the brain leads to the main motor symptoms of Parkinson. The usual treatment is drugs to replace the missing dopamine. For 10 years, that held Michael's disease at bay. But the shakes. But the side effects of the dopamine-based drugs, the shaking and the squirming, known as dyskinesia, made it ever harder to work, or indeed to lead any kind of a normal life. Well, there are all sorts of things, the restriction of movement, the limitations on my capacity to travel. But one daily frustration is uh, taking 10 minutes to wipe my bum when I've got the shakes. <laughs> Michael had heard that at this hospital in Grenoble, neurosurgeons had come up with a radical new treatment known as deep cerebral stimulation. An area of the brain called the subthalamic nucleus becomes hyperactive when dopamine is lacking. High frequency stimulation of this area decreases its activity, thus stopping the dopersensitive symptoms of Parkinson's. It's young onset patients who spend many years on dopamine for whom the operation is effective. The operation will work as well as dopamine, but with two advantages. They won't have dyskinesia, and the improvement will be continuous, 24 hours after 24 hours. And so Michael has made the brave decision to let doctors put electrodes into his brain while he is awake. They will be controlled by a battery pack inserted under his collarbone. First, he had to have bolts screwed into his head, to hold the cage in place. The patient has to be conscious throughout the operation so that the doctors can tell from his reactions when they have the electrodes in the right place. During the operation itself, I just wanted somebody to touch. So I spoke to one of the neurologists there and I said to her, can I hold your hand during the operation? And somewhat surprised, she, she agreed. And just having that personal contact with, with, with a human being was absolutely invaluable. My main concern was the claustrophobia of having my head in this contraption for 11 hours. One doesn't have an eject button that one has in a fighter plane which is, which is going to crash. On va commencer à mettre les électrodes, Monsieur Holman. Okay. This is putting in the electrode. Yes. Very exciting. <laughs> the electrodes head for their target, the subthalamic nucleus. I'm pleasantly surprised. At this moment. I, I thought that uh, it was going to be much more physically and psychologically and emotionally demanding. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been able to cope. Um, and I find it absolutely fascinating mm -hmm. what is happening. Absolutely fascinating. They use robotics and sophisticated computer technology, but also rely heavily on the patient's reactions. And if you feel something, you have to comment it. You have yeah. to tell me. And if it's really high and disagreeable, you have to tell me stop. Sure. OK, I start the stimulation. Millimeter by millimeter, when you are near your target, you stimulate. You evaluate the beneficial aspects, that is to say, the improvement in rigidity. Sometimes, as the English say, it is dramatic. OK, I stop the stimulation for the electrode one and I move to the electrode two, all right? Don't control your tremor. Let your hand free. Yes, 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 great. Once they have tried stimulation with several electrodes, they evaluate the best ones to leave in. This one has 60%, 80%, 50%, so this one also is very good. Uh, so now we are removing the other tubes which were not used. Oh, oh, oh. 
absolutely bloody marvellous. Wait, wait. It's just after the operation, and the shakes and rigidity have gone. <laughs> I feel bloody wonderful. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Three months after the operation, Michael has returned to Grenoble for fine tuning. Professor Polak will make minor adjustments to maximize Michael's performance. It's dramatic. I mean, I can now shave in the morning without, without my hands shaking. And my hands were used to be shaking so much that I simply couldn't shave. Cleaning my teeth was a problem until the medication had taken effect. And even then, um, it wasn't reliable. So this, in a way, is the first act of, 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 of daily liberation. I feel 90% normal, which is probably the most one can hope for. And I'm not on medication at all at the moment. But even when I'm taking the medication, that's a tenth of what I was taking before the operation. The chance to well, start again, to start afresh, is absolutely thrilling, absolutely wonderful. Remarkably, when the current is switched off, Parkinson's symptoms start again within seconds. This is the part that uh, Professor Pollack enjoys, so... <laughs> It takes a couple of minutes. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you're right. I see immediately some, some tremor. Yeah. It takes less than a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh, yes. Some rigidity. It's immediate, in fact. No. <laughs> the, the tremor is starting to resume. Um, and it'll get worse. It'll get, it'll get quite seriously worse. And at the flick of a switch, the trembling and the rigidity begin to disappear. Oh, I feel the uh, electrical There's current. Some tingling. Some tingling, absolutely. One second. Just a couple of seconds, no more. It's, no. it's gone now? Yeah. Yes, OK, and within 10 seconds. Let's see now. Yeah. In a way, it just reinforces the, the, the sense of astonishment that after 16 years of it getting worse and worse and worse, um, it now can be turned on and off at a touch of a switch. That, that's just mind-boggling and, and wonderfully relieving. Michael is the 150th patient to be treated in Grenoble, where it all started in 1993. Doctors visit from many countries, and the operation is now available all over the world.